yeah we're back right where we started in part two in the same room hopefully it's different i don't know man but i gotta turn this clock off so i got my wisdom teeth taken out and that shit is weird i know this is completely unrelated hold up first of all this is the exact same beginning as last video, so hopefully something actually changed, but I'm not too sure. I'll just keep walking around, but I'm gonna talk about my wisdom teeth in the meantime. I got them taken out, and bro, it is weird. Like, I was just sitting there chilling. It's like a little story time while I try to figure out what to do, but yeah, I was talking about like the weather. I was like, man, this weather is crazy, bro, because like all this snow and shit. And then I just wake up and my teeth are gone. Like, they just stole them shit. Shits. Shits. Plural. Yeah, multiple teeth. Uh, I think they took out three. I don't know. They could have taken out four. I literally have no clue. They didn't even tell me. But, yeah, I, I didn't act weird or anything after that because I got, like, an IV. If you're scared of getting your wisdom teeth out, don't. It's not scary. It doesn't hurt at all. Uh, and so far, I've just been chilling. But, uh, yeah, random story time. So, anyways, we're back with, like, normal dice shit. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out- oh, that's different. I should probably hop down there, right? Let me make sure there's nothing around here, just in case. But I'm definitely gonna hop down there no matter what. Yeah, it's telling me to go down there. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we're in like- this is exactly what the bottom of my house looks like. Like, I don't- you can't- okay, so outside, I have a deck, you know, the thing that's outside of your house. Well, this is exactly what the bottom of it looks like, and my dogs always, like, find snakes under there and shit. It's weird. But I don't really get the point. Weren't we just right here? Why does everything look the same? Alright. This looks like some sort of art gallery, which is so far the most thing that makes sense. Wait, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It might be some sort of perspective thing. So what I'm going to try to do is I need to get on this one. I'm thinking like Monument Valley where you have to get like the perspective right and you can just walk wherever. I don't know if this game can function like that. Bro, just to show you how long this took, this is my fucking timeline in Sony Vegas. So the clip you just saw is at that two minute mark. And it goes all the way to 13 minutes. Like, that's how long <laughs> this shit took me to figure out. It was so confusing. But I just want to cut it all out because, like, I know y'all could care less. Holy shit. This goes far as fuck. I didn't even know that. So literally everything else was just there to, like, fuck me up. Because, okay, so I'll, I'll leave some of it in for context. But I just wasn't talking. So, like, it's kind of boring. But I, I was trying to... Because these both had chess pieces, so I was going to see if that, like, a perspective thing. But no, literally all to do was move that one out of the way and just slide this all the way over here. So everything else there was just fucking useless. A misunderstanding of all other solutions, oh shit. All of which are okay, this is an actual normal one. What the fuck? First of all, this would be a nice little skate set. I don't skateboard in real life, but, like, skate three and shit? Bro, that would be fire. Let's just hop down this. Hopefully I don't die. Whoa! Hey, that was kind of sick, bro. That Okay, <laughs> that was cool. I think I'm supposed to go this way this time because I can't make it up that, that jump. Yeah, this is different. All right. Normally, whenever there's an elevator, that means we completed the level, but that felt way too fast. I only had like one stupid moment where I was like stupid. So, okay, yeah, that was the end of the level because it's loading. Kind of. It does its own thing. The fucking alarm clock again. And it's always the same time. It's always four. Oh wait, no, it's five now. Oh shit, that might mean something. I'm not sure what, but something. Eventually I'll figure it out. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Oh shit. Whoa. That was a cool sound effect. I liked that. They could really make a good-ass horror game. Whoever made this game could make a good fucking horror game. Hopefully that's their next thing. A lot of people will want like a sequel to this. 
But bro, if they made a scary game, they would fucking kill that shit. That would be so... Dude, that'd be so sick. We're in like some sort of factory or some shit, obviously. Big ass tub of mayonnaise and shit. Okay, maybe they wouldn't be that good at a horror game. This is kind of corny. All right, let's just continue. There needs to be like some sort of museum that is just like creepy ass lighting as an exhibit and have that be like the whole area. Like it'd just be such a cool fucking place to walk through. It sounds stupid, but like imagine something like this in first, like in real life, not first person, <laughs> but dude, that would be so sick. Someone needs to like do that. I don't really know the, okay, beans. Yeah, <laughs> that's stupid. Wait, this definitely changed. Cause we came from, oh shit, yeah. This is fucking weird. Oh. Ah, that's kind of cool. At first I was like, that's so cheesy. But then it said diet soda. I was like, oh shit, clever. This looks like I have to jump. Yep, oh shit, I tried. This is fucking weird, dude. Do I just have to, can I go around it? Ah. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. Let's look here. Oh, it says no. I'm still gonna fucking jump. I made it! That's what's up, all right. I'm doing this so I can actually see what's going on. So I need to go this way. I literally just thought of that. That definitely just looked like I've already played this game before. But like, if you can't see anything, why not turn around and look at the light that you have behind you? You know what I'm saying? Like that just makes sense. But that, this is like movie theater shit. But that definitely looked like I've already played this game before, but I fucking promise you I haven't. You could definitely tell that I haven't played this game before from the last part. I'm still fucking pissed about that shit. How do I get out of here? Can I not just jump through? Can I grab something? Ah, what does this help with? The fuck? Oh shit, where are we going? Oh, this is scary. So I was trying to get that sign to work. Hold, wait, I literally can't see anything. I'm moving around. Fuck, what the fuck? Wait, dude, I can't see shit. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? Um. Is this a problem? Anyways, I was trying to get that sign to break the the wood, but it wasn't. So I was like, hmm, maybe it's actually there for a reason. So let me go back. But now I don't know where I am at all. Oh shit, I got out. Okay, so let's just go straight. I'm not gonna move at all. I don't even know if I'm moving forward. I'm now gonna go backwards. Okay, yeah, I wasn't even moving. Wait, I can bring that sign with me. That's what I'm gonna do, cause it illuminates light. And so I'm gonna take that with me and try to figure out how to get through there. That would be helpful. Hell yeah, okay. So... Dude, where even was I? How did I get it pitch black in here if I can't even... Cause I, oh, I was jumping around a little bit. Somehow it got up here, I guess. Crazy, okay. Yeah, I definitely would have needed this. There's no way, yeah, okay. Cause I was like, what's that door for if, you know, if I have to go through it, but I can't go, go through it type thing. If that made any fucking sense, I don't know. Let me see if I can grab anything. No, I can't. Dude, I don't know, I'm clueless again. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Oh, there's a knife. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layer oh, here it is. In so far, this is the most difficult level because the lighting, you can't see anything. 
Oh shit. Oh, that sound is kind of creepy. Oh shit, what is this? Imagine an escape room like this. Like, whoever could make this into an escape room, instant fucking billionaire. They'd have to have like a billion dollars to build it. But holy shit, you get your money back so fast. I swear there'd be like infinite articles about it. That would be insane. Imagine. That'd be fucking awesome. Can I move yet? No. Because it looked like it lagged, but I have a feeling it was on purpose for whatever reason. For them to be like different. But I, I don't know the purpose. But the D... Like, the line is still there on the right side of my TV. Hello clocks, and it's 6 a.m. now. I have to turn them all off. Are you fucking serious? Shut up. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop the video here. We did two levels. Shit was weird. Took a little bit of time. Uh, But, yeah, I don't know which one we're on. You can, like, select levels in the menu or whatever. But anyways, I'll see y'all in part four. Thanks for watching.